sought fruit thereon and found none. And then said he unto the dresser of, of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I have come seeking fruit on this vine tree, fig tree, and find none. Cut it down while it cometh in, in it the ground. And he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it. And if it bear fruit well, and if not, then after that, thou shalt cut it down. Amen. With your presence, with your participation tonight, I want to talk with this thought. Another year, another chance. All right. Another year, uh, another chance. My brothers and sisters, Joseph Prince in his new book, Un Unmerited Favor, stated that what we need today are not only more laws to govern believers. But what we need is a greater, greater revelation and appreciation of Jesus and everything that he has done for us. The 21st century church, my brothers and sisters tonight, has become spoiled to the fact that God has to do the things that he does for us. Uh, the things that God does for us is not by force nor by choice, but it's by his free will. The question that comes to mind is, why do God allow innocent people to die without warning? But the truth of the matter is, why do God allow us to live? And the good news is that we should all be glad about is that what, we, what he does for us is not based on what we have done or what we're doing. But the realization of the matter is that what it's based on is not based on our daily downfalls because all have sinned and fall shut. But we wouldn't, we wouldn't be here tonight. But I wish I had somebody here tonight that could testify and say, I'm not here by accident. I'm not here by incident. But I'm here by the divine hands of God on my life. My brothers and sisters, all of us have gone through some things in 2014 that you know that should have took you out. You went through some things that others didn't go through, that didn't make it through. But you ought to be glad and testify tonight that God, I know it was nobody but you that could save me. It was nobody you but, but you can heal me. Nobody can do the things that you do. Yes, yes. So my brothers and sisters, in the background of my text tonight, Jesus is teaching his disciples this parable about this fig tree. There are three main characters in our text tonight. And our text tonight, the Lord of the vineyard represents God 